Adapting Japanese anime series to live-action films has become recently popular, but proves to be extremely challenging for the movie-making industry. You are watching the channel Watch Culture, and for today's video, we have picked the best to worst live-action adaptation of anime. <laughs> City Hunter, 2011. IMDb rating, 8.2. The phrase live action in the film industry involves the use of real people and animals instead of the animation of models, images that are drawn or produced by computer. Unlike animation, live action involves the photography of actors and actresses, as well as sets and props making the movie seem personal and as close to reality as possible. Okay, five rupees. Twenty rupees? Then, go on. City Hunter is a South Korean TV series based on the Japanese manga series of the same name. The series isn't popular in the West, but it paved the way for the shonen domination of the late 90s. The series focuses on Saber Ryo, who, along with his team, helms the responsibility of clearing all the villains and thugs from the streets of Tokyo. In a total of 140 episodes, the series takes viewers on an epic adventure where each arc is intertwined with the others. Alita, Battle Angel, 2019. IMDb rating, 7.3. They're gonna kill you! Which ones? All of them! Alita Battle Angel wasn't the bomb that everyone expected it to be, but nonetheless it was still loved by the audience and fans. It holds a 60% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes from critics and 94% audience rating. The praiseworthy Hollywood adaptation remained true to the storyline of the anime movie it recreated. Almost everything from the scenery to the Alita's character design with 3D anime eyes was pulled off flawlessly. It is rumored that a sequel is possible. You could just tell me what those eyes have seen. I wish I could. I keep trying to remember, but... This is Major. I'm on site. Ghost in the Shell, 2017. IMDb rating, 6.3. In its runtime of approximately an hour and a half, the Ghost in the Shell anime brings a lot to the table. Apart from portraying an impressive futuristic world, the movie compels viewers to look beyond its sci-fi premise and find deeper philosophical underpinnings. Because of how much it manages to achieve in its short runtime, it comes as no surprise that many Hollywood filmmakers have drawn inspiration from it, including the Wachowskis for The Matrix. Put your guns down now! Freeze! Get your hands up! However, its direct Hollywood live-action adaptation failed, despite having Scarlett Johansson as its lead. It faced a common issue in Hollywood live-action adaptations, whitewashing. In addition to this, the movie is criticized for the lack of depth in its plot, as a lot of the thought-provoking concepts have been watered down, <laughs> resulting in the experience to be less captivating. Full Metal Alchemist, 2017, IMDb rating 5.2. Creating a live-action adaptation of an anime that is considered to be the greatest of all time by many is a huge responsibility. Despite this, Netflix ambitiously took on the project but eventually fell short of coming even close to the original. They tried to cram the entire season in a two-hour movie, which was a disaster. The characters were said to be boring and their reactions were confusing, and the whole pacing of the movie was awkward. <laughs> Some of the scenes were not properly explained. However, the movie for someone who isn't well-versed in the world of anime would be a good starting point. But for the anime lovers who have seen the original Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood or its eponymous anime counterpart, the live action just isn't worth it and is a waste of time. Attack on Titan Part 1, 2015. IMDb rating 5.0. When Hajima Isayama's Attack on Titan, or Shingeki no Kyojin, was first released, it took the anime community by storm. The freedom-based plot also touched on the aspects of tragedy, loss, class distinctions, humanity, and the moral struggle to do good. The manga-turned-anime was adapted into a live-action movie following the anime's overwhelming popularity and the immense following. But some anime's themes aren't meant for live-action, as they are too big and ambitious. While it was made in Japan and with Japanese actors, it was still a flop. The CGI wasn't all bad, but the whole movie still felt like a green screen production. Also, the cast of the movie was odd since there was only one character of Asian descent. It's the wall. We have to get out of here! Instead of portraying the complexity of its characters, the film also failed to achieve the dark tone. Death Note, Netflix, 2017. IMDb rating 4.5. 
Death Note being the best gateway anime for beginners, it didn't come as a surprise when Netflix decided to create its live-action adaptation. With a talented actor like Nat Wolf playing Light Yagami, the movie initially appeared to be a good idea when its production was announced. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you put my name in the book, I got mad at him. Take Are you You lying? said you loved me, I thought you wouldn't take the book! However, no amount of Willem Dafoe could have saved this utter Netflix adaptation. It has major plot holes, character development felt inconsistent, and it failed to capture the tension that made the original so engaging. Unfortunately, instead of focusing on the intense dynamic of Kira and Elle, the movie was rather a romantic genre movie. It should have been based on the tale of a genius sociopath, but was actually a cringe-worthy adaptation. Not only did Netflix change the storyline and the execution drastically, but it also tried to turn the supposed antagonist-protagonist, Light, into an angsty, coming-of-age American movie teenager. The whole movie seemed like another part of Final Destination. <laughs> Devilman 2004 IMDb rating 4.0 The original source material of Devilman Crybaby is so grotesque and bizarre, and the beauty lies in its portrayal of the betrayal, humanity, morality, and acceptance themes, also with dark and heart-wrenching undertones. It is surprising that Netflix even took the initiative to make a live-action film. The Devilman adaptation is said to be so bad that it became the worst of the worst when it came to Japanese films in an annual poll. The movie had subpar acting, cheap production, and has extremely bad CGI. There were several inconsistencies in its plot that were enough to put off most viewers, and is said to have tried too hard to stitch together the scenes from the manga. Dragon Ball Evolution 2009 IMDb rating 2.5 The Dragon Ball Evolution is the sole reason why all anime live-action adaptations have a bad name. To this date, it remains one of the most despised titles in the community to this day, and can make any fan grimace in disgust. Hollywood's take on the legendary Dragon Ball saga completely wiped out Goku's mythology, which explains how he came to be a Saiyan and acquired his abilities. Another major flaw was that the cast was non-Asian. The movie was described as flat, dull, and exaggerated, with some of the story to have been borrowed from other sources, while other important parts were ignored. To this, the scriptwriter issued an apology that he mistook his approach to the film. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.